Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. This is Andrew speaking here, and we're just getting back to the shop. So let's hop out of this. This is another one that I've built. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? It is the Hammerdahl Strale S. Now, this isn't the Thor version. The Thor version produces over 2300 horsepower. I do have one of them, it's just not built yet. But I went to the junkyard a couple times, and here's one car right here, the SCEO LX550. I'm not building that today. What we're going to be building in this episode is this bad boy right here. It is a Elante. I'm going to take a little peek see here. Just need to find the pen. That right there. Avante Taloup, Taloup, which is also the same edition as the Renault Clio V6 edition. So let's get started, shall we? Let's bring her over to the old car wash. Ah, yeah, let's go to the dyno because we're really gonna be able to pull a dyno with this motor, right? Ooh, look at that, look at all that power right there. Ain't she something special to the car wash is where we are going. Awesome. Now that we are here, let's wash the interior. Now I've already taken the liberty once again, like I normally do, is I buy all the parts. Uh, I've assembled the shocks. I've assembled the t or I've not or balanced and installed the t or um, wow, I'm tongue twisted tonight. I've got the tires on the rims or put the wheels and tires together and then now we're going to build the car just changed out the viper still haven't done that yet on a positive note what i have done is i have installed the motor into the m1 doesn't that look pretty i think that looks pretty nice and shiny to go with this Ooh, ain't that just something so what we're going to do right now is we're going to Lift it up. Strip whatever body parts are here. Hey, we've got the door. Hey, the door's repairable. What do you know? I've already bought a new one. Take off the front bumper. Hey, front bumper B. We're using C. So. But this is the upgraded edition. This is the Bontrope. Or Bontrope, whatever you want to, however you pronounce it. And we're not using these seats. Mm -mm. Noop, 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 noop. So let's put this thing up in the air. Let's also get our cherry picker and move it over. Perfect. Let's pull off the wheels and start to strip it. I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to bring over the welder. Oh well, it happens, right? Yeah, one of these days I'll start bringing some of my cars that I have in my garage there and I'll start bringing them here. Well, parking as they call it. And yeah, like I have a lot of cars. And I didn't purchase something right there. Bottom arm B. I bought the front ones, but not the rear ones. Like so far, well, brought one out in the last video, but um, had a little complications in the recording process. Pushed the wrong button on the controller. Three minutes and forty-seven seconds left of the video. And oops, bye-bye video. It went bye-bye. So yeah, it is what it is, right? Accidents happen. I tend to make a lot of them. As I also said in the previous video, that nobody will ever get to hear, uh, I have bought a new larger hard drive for my PS4, uh, which means I'm able to start downloading some of the games that I already had previously downloaded that I had to clear out of the way to make space for certain games that just seem to increase the space or increase in size. Like 
Grand Theft Auto, stuff like that. And what I'm planning on doing is actually getting into, like, for instance, my game Gran Turismo. I have that downloading. I have Ark Survival Evolved, I believe it's called. Uh, I have a, a new game that I just started playing and just checking it out and seeing what it was like. It's called, uh, uh, I can't think of the name of it right now. Overpass. It's an ATV TV quad game. It's going to be pretty alright. You know, a little difficult in times, but it is what it is. Um, yeah. So what, we're going to be starting a series on all those. Or I just might start doing random videos. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on what, on what you'd like to see me play, if I have it, uh, drop a comment, you know. Also, too, while you're while you're there, drop in a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you know. Because I only have, out of all the views I've gotten, only a few of you have actually subscribed. So please just subscribe to the channel. It's free. It doesn't cost you nothing. It helps me grow. It helps me able to start producing better content later on. You know, better equipment. It's the way it works. Oh, crud. There we go. Right there. Perfect. Take off the inner. A knuckle, a bushing. Hey, we got the bushing. So, anyway, back to your, the episode at hand. Now, this car comes with off road tires. We ain't putting off road tires back on it. No, 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 no. See, I think off road tires on this car look utterly ridiculous, we'll say. No, no, no. I've already got the wheels and tires. Like I said, they're together. They're balanced. Uh, the wheels themselves are painted to, to what the color of the body is going to be. And I think, in my personal opinion, I think it's going to look sharp. But everybody's, everybody has their own opinion. Some people may like it. Some people may not. Some may not. And you know what? That's okay. I'm fine. Drop a comment. Tell me what you think about it in the end. You know? Oh, missed it. I don't know how I miss it when it's lit up like a Christmas tree. But I missed it somehow. Alright, now that we got all this out. We can drop this down. And yank that big pile of paperweight out. Look at that. Look. Looks pretty. Alright, now we're going to bring this over. I'm going to zip that down. While that's zipping out, what we're going to do is we're going to set this up to build. Uh, let's see if I remember what this motor is. AKZ right there. What? Didn't I choose it? There we go. Complications. Perfect. The block's on. I was going to add a little bit of color to the block, but I was like, yeah, let's not and say we didn't. Alright, now I'm going to bring this bad boy over to the paint shop. I'm going to install our, pa our body panels for it. Uh, touchy, touchy, touchy. Look at that. I'm almost able to install everything from that side. Nice. I kind of do like that red though, eh? it's a nice beautiful red. Mine's not going to be as rich and as deep as that, but still, it's still going to look nice though, I have a feeling. We've got headlight C, bumper C, the other one for headlight C. Got the Mio. this on the hatch because it's a hatchback you got bumper C for the rear 
tail lights see for both sides and we gotta put the window and I believe now we're ready for some cooler well that's it right there let's see it's a custom red yeah I think that looks all right feels good with the chrome on the side Look at that. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Now, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wait, what's going on there? Ooh. I'm going to click this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to move this over to here can't do nothing with it because there's no suspension we're going to yank this bad boy off we're going to run it back into the paint booth and we're going to do a carbon fiber carbon fiber uh, where are you right here awesome that's what we're going to do we're going to run back over here I'm going to bring this back into the paint booth. Spending a little extra time doing this. Huh. sure I like that too much but holy twitchy slow down there awesome now what we're going to do oh yeah here it is back over here it's now that this is all done and everything's ready to rock and roll I'm gonna build the motor now Get the crankshaft in Oh, it's only got two caps. I thought I had three. Hmm. Now, let's make sure I bought all the parts I need for. <laughs> okay. Did I, didn't I say I always forget something? I only forgot one of the main components to the motor. I thought I bought all six of these bad boys, but I guess I didn't. Hey. Three left. And then this can be buttoned up on the bottom with the oil pan when we got the other two rod cap bolts in. So please do like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to watch my other videos. I have a few of them out now. I think uh, after this one there'll be uh, 39. 39 videos? You kind of jumped the gun there. Forgot to put the oil pan on. No, I did not. Wow. I'm really starting to lose my mind. Oh, that grinding, eh? Apologize for that. Okay, I didn't overbuy parts. What about one too many uh, crank or cam caps? Or two too many, I should say. But I guess I didn't. I 
and I love the color of the um, cam gear for this motor. Just the color of it just, it just looks right. Show you guys that in a second here. Really just took me a minute to find. Fifty bolts later. Oh, they look nice. Charcoal. Ooh, it's a nice color. Starting over. One thing I don't like is too many parts in, in the inventory when I go to paint the vehicle and it takes forever. I don't like it. that happens guess what we can put it back in the car I think I left the radiator in I'm not sure yeah it would be something crazy like that believe me Hopefully this motor produces somewhere around 400 horsepower for the amount of money I have in it. I got the thermostat, but I forgot the pistons. Yep, that's my luck. Take manifold B for this lower part, lower plenum. Now we do the upper plenum, the trotto body. And we got to put in the full whales. Now we do the front of the motor, button all that up. buy more idler rays. I realize this motor took so many of them. First belt, sort of time out B. The cover. C belt tension now. And we'll do B and then A. You gotta put A on before Yeah. So normally you put Bang, hopefully that's a B. Normally you put, yes, you put the uh, timing cover on before you put the um, crank pulley on, but this motor, you gotta put the crank pulley on first, then you put the timing cover on. Took me a minute to figure it out the first time I did this motor. All right. Take engine from engine stand. We go this away, we install it. How nice, eh? It pops it open for me. Alright, while we're here, we may as well put this in. Give a little extra juice to it. And I remembered the four clips. But I forgot the pistons. Tell where my priorities are. They're on the clips. That's done. I would do the ABS pump. 
That'll be the module after that. Anything else we gotta do here? Well, transmission obviously, but so what we'll do now is we'll add the fluid to it. You see what I mean? No calipers, no nothing to do with the brakes, but I can add the fluid in. No charge. Alright, that's done. Let's put the oil in. Check the level, make sure we're up. Perfect. We gotta top off the we gotta add the power steering fluid. Like seriously, why can't anybody turn that? A 45 degree angle much more would be a little bit more suffice. Especially concerned that the uh, power steering pump's on the other side of the motor. Okay. Power steering pump is right there strange I tell you strange very strange all right where's the old fuse box here is it seriously back there no huh but I did forget to take out I always thought it was beside that I'll put in the battery, the radiator, the fan, the coolant tank. Oh, there it is. And of course, right? I would buy the wrong one. <sighs> That's when I get myself too quickly evolved. And I know I got all the things, I bought 50 of each. Now, they're no big deal to have because they don't clog up the paint area. Can't forget the blue one. The other blue one. The red one. Alright, let's see. And we also got the windshield washer fluid jug here. Now, we've got the power steering, oil, and brake fluid already in the car. Now we'll install. Oh. Now we will put the coolant in. Alright, now I don't take the part out again. There we go. And we do the suspension. Where are you? Washer, fluid. Yeah, we're on the cap. Awesome. Now we come back over here. Oh, we're on one. There we go. Look at that. Shiny new. You know, I have a feeling something's coming, we're going to have to open this again, but... Oop! Uh, almost caught it. Oh, I forgot to do the interior. Gosh darn it. Let's put the gearbox in, shall we? The stutter, V8. We've lost front section A. And B is over here. That's chrome muffler. Let me get all this stuff done now. Now we ain't doing the fuel tank yet because that's at the other end of the car. And I counted out exactly how many bushings I'm going to need and that's 20. 16 for the upper and lower control arms and four for the cross member in the front. Put a rear wheel hub B, 
the bearing, the axle, the rotor, pads and caliper. Uh oh, red calipers. And I'll put the wheels on. Now, also too, drop a comment and let me know if there's any sp any specific kind of builds that you would like to see. Any different colors, um, you know, for instance, like the Hellcat in this, not the Dodge Charger or Challenger one, but the one that actually looks like a Chevelle, you know, for instance, that comes with like um, seven or eight different engine options. You know, something like that. You know, I could do a one carb, two carb, do a no power engine in it, which I really don't like to do that kind of stuff. But I'll do it for you guys. You know, um, kind of wheels and tires. Uh, what the? Oh, I bought the wrong one. I bought C instead of B. I guess maybe it has been kind of a long... Oh, going the right one there. It's smart. Yeah. I guess maybe it has been kind of a long day. Oh, so I'll show you at the end what one I actually bought. Really? Now, I know I bought that. There, everyone saw me buy it, right there. Hi, Columbo. Another video style I did was with the uh, Porsche, the Carrera GT when I was had it on the dyno, and. Uh, I was actually changing individual parts and after every part I'd do a dyno run. Is that also the kind is that also the type of videos that people would like to see or is it just the building or like I could really use some feedback and some input here on what you'll want to see. And if I have it I'll do it. Believe me, I will do it if I have the game, if I have whatever, I will do it. It's just a matter of whether or not I have them. Now we're coming up on the last home stretch. Then we do the fun stuff. Dino tuning. And maybe in the next video, I'll have this thing on the track. And I forgot to put the lower control arm in. And we'll do nothing with that out. All right, I'm gonna put the dust, sh dust shield in. The wheel hub. The bearing cap. The rotor. The pads. The caliper. Caliper. <laughs> Guess what? It's basically built. Yeah, buddy. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to run this over to the dyno. Ooh, that looks pretty sharp, to be honest. Of course, you know, my fam my favorite seats. Famous seats. I really like using these seats. Seats. They're actually, you know, look like a race car. Alright. I wonder what she's gonna make. Pause the video now, right? Leave in the comments. What do you think it'll make? My opinion is around four to four fifty. But drop a comment and let me know what you think it'll do. Dang, I was only off by a little bit. I think it says 456 and 367 foot-pounds of torque. Huh. Okay. Now let's put her back on the car lift. That way then I can do... Uh, my favorite, One of my favorite jobs to do is to put window tint on. Window tank can make or break a car. And in this case, it makes it. Look at that. That just looks so sharp. So sharp. Alright, now let's bring this out in exchange with the Vapor. And that is going to be it. For the episode please once again like share and subscribe and I will catch you all in the next one have a good night